Hello again, everyone. Hope you are well on this Friday, late afternoon, early evening. It is August the 23rd, and I have several things to go over. We have new, fresh warnings, big time, unprecedented rise in security threats. Uh, new warnings from the FBI director. Also have some breaking news that occurred a little earlier uh, this afternoon, well, about mid-afternoon or so. I have a terrific passage, a very powerful passage I will share with you towards the end of the video, so do stay tuned for that. But first, real quick, a quick plug. I meant to do this the last couple of videos, and I just get wrapped up, I get fired up and forget, but quick plug for Mrs. Dog's uh, YouTube channel. We have a second YouTube channel uh, called Mrs. Dog's Homestead and uh, it, the link is in the description of this video and every video that I do, but I just wanted to remind you, uh, many of you know about this channel, but I've had a lot of new subscribers in the last month or so, so you may not, so to those who may not even know, we have another channel, so check it out. She did a video this past weekend, I believe it was this past weekend, a gardening video update, so check it out. We appreciate it. It also serves as my backup channel in an emergency or something happens to this channel. You never know, right? You never know. I try to be careful. You know what I mean? I just also have a feeling that just following just in general what's going on in the Middle East especially and just overall, I just have a strong feeling that we could, we could very possibly see major the United States involved in not just involved but heavily like big time involved in a big war or WW3 you can make an argument that we're, we're already in WW3 but having it really break loose uh, in, in a big way all the way between now and October to November between now and October now that's for multiple reasons it's been building up over there and there's no signs of it there's absolutely no signs of uh, of it uh, tamping down in fact it's the opposite especially when you look at both the Middle East and Europe and Eastern Europe it's a mess and then you have the potential in the and the um, in the Asian uh, sector over there Southeast Asia as we know that that could just it can all just go up, light up at the same time. So uh, we need to keep that in mind. And for nothing else, that's a good reason to prepare and just uh, make sure we're good on the food and the water and there's your provisions, you know. Uh, this one's also a good reason. The FBI director, uh, Mr. Ray, I think is his name, another warning. Now, I, I get it. I, consider the source. Take it with a grain of salt. However, this warning, he says, this is an unprecedented rise in security threats. They are deeply concerned over several things. Terrorism, cybercrime, foreign, now this is the really interesting one, foreign election interference, and espionage activity by an adversarial nation or actors or forget the way they said it but the last two the espionage activity foreign election interference and then of course cybercrime and terrorism so a confluence of four big big concerns again I know the source we this guy comes out with warnings every now and then like you know but not this many not this widespread maybe but no specific details they never do also mention that this is very interesting this is this is awful but it's uh the law there's a law enforcement officers are killed in the line of duty in the united states at a rate of one every five days out of every five days we have at least one law enforcement officer killed in the line of duty in the United States. I mean, think about that. I remind you, 
12 out of the last 16 years a Democrat has been president in this country and they still want to blame the other guy for everything. They want to blame MAGA. They want to blame you. They want to blame Trump. They want to blame the Easter Bunny. Christianity. Jesus. It's everybody else's fault. I'm sick of it. It's sickening. It is absolutely sickening. I'm thankful people still want to be cops. I, I, I don't know how they do it. Can we at least give them a raise or something? There's going to be a day when we just don't have them. Or just some places have them. It's going to have to go back to the days when you just had to be organized by the people. And you just had to form, be, be get organized and protect yourself. That's what's going to end up happening. Like the wild, wild west. I mean, there weren't enough cops to cover that whole area. I mean, you had marshals, but dang, I mean, you know. It ended up just being, being ruled by people in many cases. But this is a different day and time. And uh, I, I believe that kind of situation would be a lot more uh, complicated. Let's just say the very least complicated. Scary. But crime is a huge, huge, it's a big one, y'all. RFK Jr. drops out of the race officially today and throws his support at Trump. So we'll see, debatable whether that really makes much of a difference. I don't really know either. Uh, but I think that's interesting. I'm sure they worked out a deal. I'm sure if Trump is, is in, is, uh, gets in office, I'm sure this guy will have, I'd put him in charge of the environment. Uh, food, food supply, those are his big things. I mean, let him just, or Secretary of the Interior, whatever, whatever that would be. I don't know what that would be, but and let him run and just let him, just let that dude go. You go, you go, go. Knock it out, man. Carte Blanche. Well, maybe not quite, that, but you know, let him do his thing. Um, also, We got winter, you know, y'all, we're knocking on the door of September here, y'all. I mean, think about that. I know, football season starts. That's a whole nother thing. I'm on. <laughs> I can hear some typing. You talking about football. So, uh, but anyway, football season. But we're, think about your winter preps. Fall, winter, your baking materials. Think about your provisions. Um, you fuel. Let's keep some cash out. I keep thinking about something for some reason. I keep thinking about fuel and keeping cash out. Because if we have a fin an absolute financial crash, it, it, you won't get much of a warning. You, you will get no warning. It, you know, we'll wake up or it'll happen on a Friday evening. We got a holiday weekend coming up. And, you know, on a Friday evening or, or something like that. And, uh, or one morning you're gonna wake up and it's gonna hit it's gonna be hitting so we got winter coming up um, just look at your look at your preps we have several uh, several things coming up uh, that could be that could be uh, issues war we got social uh, civil unrest um, just crime in general I hear stories from you guys out there man I mean in places that you don't normally consider crime ridden or having a problem, you're seeing all kinds of wacky stuff. People have gone absolutely bonkers. Remember, the vast majority of people watching this video right now, maybe not 100%, uh, the world has lost its mind. This world has gone completely cocoa puff, cray cray crazy, lost their mind. They have, not you, not you. The world has lost its mind, including many of its leaders, leaders. And uh, evil runs rampant. However, however, there is the light. There is the light. We can be the light. We are the light. Um, which will lead me into a scripture here. But let's keep let's keep up our um, our preparations, y'all. And um, spiritual, physical, mentally. 
provisions, your medical. I keep, because Ms. Dog and I both have had little accidents here where we had to pretty much, we had to almost exhaust us, not really exhaust the supply, but we ran through some, not just band-aids, but the, um, the tape and the, um, not just man, but the other stuff, I forget what you call them, the little, the paper and the tape and stuff like that for different kind of wounds, different kind of cuts, scrapes and your ointments and things like that. Your gauze, your, your stuff you wrap up with. Um, make sure you got plenty of that because if it goes down, we get a war, we got wake up one morning, we got WW3 in full effect or forbid, you know, nuclear or something like that or financial collapse. Um, the stores or even one of these civil unrest things just pops up and goes nuts uh, somewhere. The vast majority of people out here are not prepared, not like we are. Not like many of you are. People will panic and the stores would be wiped out within hours. Within hours, the stores would be ransacked. You don't want to have to get into that mess. You don't have to. We will be hunkered down already and in a defensive position, a defensive posture. Okay. Don't want to have to get out in that stuff. That, if nothing else, is one of the biggest motivators for me to, to, to stay prepared. Must, best we can. The best we can. Oh, you know, our budgets are different. It's different for everybody. Anyway, going to Romans. Book of Romans, uh, chapter 5, starting verse 3. I'm going to go a couple. I just can't go one verse. Y'all know that. So, yeah, Romans chapter 5, verse 3, starting there. And not only this, we also exalt in our tribulations, knowing that tribulation brings about perseverance, and perseverance, proven character, and proven character, hope. And hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. For while we were still helpless, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly, died for us. Tribulation, just remember, when you're going through hard times, suffering even, it's easy to let that chip away at your faith. It is. We're human, right? Knowing that tribulation brings about perseverance proven character, hope, even in tough times, even in hard times, tribulation, seek him, seek him, praise Jesus, praise him, think about the book of Job, what he went through, keep the faith, he will see us through it, he does, promise. I hope that's encouraging. Um, we're going into a weekend. Let's stay aware. Let's do our thing, of course. Let's do our thing. Um, do something fun. Treat yourself. You know, do the things. Let's be watchful. Be careful out there. Be safe. Stay close to Jesus. God bless you. I will see you soon.